Hi. Today we talk about how to add a possibility to change different parameters of uh, your model directly inside the Perch 3D engine application. So let's add a possibility to change different parameters of your model. To do this you need to go to the mesh edit panel, then I'll hide unnecessary panels and now I'll begin adding a shape case to your model or another way to say morph target as they called in different softwares for modeling. Let's add a base shape key, here you can see it and then I'll add a first shape key and I'll call it width. And now what I need to do, I will go to edit mode I choose wireframe mode in viewport to see all edges and vertices. And I'll go to vertex edit mode. I'll select all vertex and will move them to the left. And then I'll select all right vertexes and will shift them per measure on the right by x axis. Now I'll close and edit mode and you can see that model turned to its base shape K. Now I changing the value of the first shape K from 0 to 1 and you can see how it changed in its width. To control this shape K directly inside the engine I will need to use any physical object. For this I will add a sphere for example. And I'll put it on a meter from the center of the object. And also somewhere here, also in the middle of the model. I'll also add a simple material to it with a lot of roughness. And let it be blue color. And I'll name it controller. I also apply rotation scale to it. And using this object I will control shape case. And now let's export it to the engine. So let's look what we get. Here you can see the model without morphing, but uh, to add the possibility to change this parameter in the engine, I'll go to puzzles at first. I'll move my model here and let's look what I will use to create this possibility. I will use set more factor puzzle that are included in the last Verge 3D engine and I will change more factor of the object that called mechanism. Here is my morph and here I will insert the value according to position of this controller. At first I will add a puzzle dragged over and as a drag object I will use this controller. And inside this puzzle I will add puzzle drag move that also will move that controller. This puzzle I will disable for a moment. And let's look how it works. And here you can see that my controller moves. But nothing happens with the morph because it's not related to it yet. So let's put my morphing puzzle here inside the drag over puzzle. This will change set morph factor value in the future when you will drag this controller. But before I need to transfer the position of the controller inside the set morph factor puzzle. Put get position puzzle here 
and we'll get position from the controller. But because my controller already shifted from the matter of the center of the scene and I need to get a value from 0 to 1, I will subtract 1 from the result that will get from get position object before it goes to the more factor value. And now I apply these changes, refresh my page, and now if I will move my controller, morphing also will be changed with this controller. As you can see, this controller changed too much of the value of the shape K, and I need to limit this value to get only 0 and 1 from the controller and to transfer only 0 and 1 to the shape K. To do this, I'll go to Constraints in Blender and choose Limit Location. Here I add it and I will need to set limits by X. So minimal will be 1 and maximum will be 2. So this object will move from 1 to 2. So, so somewhere here. Now let's export to the engine and reopen my application. And as you can see it limited between 1 and 2 meters. And that's how I limited movement of this controller, to get only 1 and 0 as a result from the get object. That's all, thank you for watching.